Welcome back, everybody, to Good Gosh Almighty, Great God Almighty, jury's still out on that, where we talk about episode, I don't even know what, where we talk about, um, you know, music and God and homesteading and boondocking and camping and all of that stuff, and not necessarily in that order. And, uh, well, I have you to thank, because uh, I really wouldn't be doing this. Mm, I'm a singer, uh, songwriter, and... Um, I'm doing this on a dare, but because of all of your cards and letters and phone calls and email and DMs, yeah, I'm not getting anything. Um, I continue. I push on. Um, one good thing that has come out of it is that I need props. Um, you know, like I this and I don't have gum today, but I do have that. And I got my little this. And then I recently added... Hi, everybody, and welcome back to episode, I don't even know, of uh, Great Gosh Almighty, Good God Almighty, the jury's still out on that, where we talk about music and God and boondocking and camping and homesteading, not necessarily in that order. And I'll tell you, my props are growing um, because this and this, because I don't do this. I'm a singer-songwriter, um, chopstick. And, you know, I usually, like, write, arrange, produce, and stuff, my, you know, my own stuff. And um, I get behind the mic that way. But to be behind the mic this way, like, I did it on a dare. And, it, you know, it's cool. It's all right. But I'm not very, I don't know. I, I hope that you're liking it. I'm actually enjoying you m more um, than I think you're enjoying me. Um, one addition to the props that I just showed you is this bell. There is gotta be one, I love that thing, because I don't wanna startle or sneak up on anybody, you know, so you know that I'm coming. Uh, there is one person, at least, I think, who will really appreciate that. Good morning, Belle. Um, you can just call me Belle. Anyway, yeah. Um, so I wanted to jump right into the what's in the bag portion of, um, or segment of this uh, little good gosh almighty, great God almighty, don't even know yet, uh, show that I'm doing. Um, what's in the bag? Because everybody wants to know what's in the bag, right? <laughs> I want to know what's in the bag. And this is my bag. Now, we're talking about my tool bag. Um, and I think some time ago can't even check the levels on this thing. I um, I invited you along with me as I went into the store to get this very bag. And I'm going to try to put up a, a picture of that because I guess that's what the kids do, right? They put a little picture up to go along with whatever the copy is. I don't know. Mm. Um... Uh, while I was in the store getting this. And I really liked this because it had a zip. Yeah, I just, I could do that. Like, oh, oh yeah, this is a great, great, uh, anyway, great bag. Um, so let's get right to it. What's in the bag? Okay. I have, um, I have some construction cloth that I was using to uh, secure like a little patch of garden so that little animals, uh, you know, wouldn't, um, you know, take over. And to wrap up the construction cloth, you can look it up. I'm not going to explain what it is because I really think it's ill-named. <laughs> but uh, comes this to twine, uh, metal, whatever. Uh, it could actually kill somebody. Can you see that? It's really point. Can you see that? It's really, you can't even see that. Um, anyway, this does help, though, to uh, prop up your tomato plants. It's got some, okay, so that's that. Um, okay, what else do I have in here? I have wire cutters. I need to get some kind of, how do they do that? <laughs> Black background. Okay, I have wire cutters to cut that that stuff. Um, they, they do come in handy like once a year I need to cut wire okay these are very grippy 
Um, they're not warm at all. In fact, I don't recommend using these in the cold because they actually make it worse because they have this latex, whatever. But they're good for grip. <laughs> they're good when you need to open a jar of pickles. <laughs> yeah, gherkins. Uh, not that mm, sour, half sour. I do like half sour, thank you. Uh, but gherkins mostly. If you're out there and you know who you are, it's not gum because I couldn't find the gum, but it's the next best thing because I really need to be in the groove. What else? Okay. This is a favorite of mine. It's natural fiber. I like natural things. I'm a natural, a natural woman. Um, it's, you know, just your everyday twine. Um, can you see the fibers? Oh, it's so warm. How do they do that? Can you see the fibers? Anyway, it smells really good. It's not uh, treated with anything. And it's strong. It's sturdy. It, you know, it'll, it'll serve. Um, can I just put this somewhere else? Uh, okay, whatever. I can't. My desk isn't big enough. I want one of those deskuses that like those fancy people have when they do these, you know, shows on whatever networks they're on, you know. I really don't like my hair, but the clip is nice. It's blingy. Um, oh, okay, so I got a, um, that's a flathead. And it's small enough for those jobs that are um, <laughs> not very... <laughs> um. <laughs> not very um ah and i have bug spray and the more d-e-e-t whatever the heck they call that stay away from it it's bad the better because that's the stuff that kills the mosquitoes like they don't come around i'm telling you the more carcinogenic the better it works that's that um these are for those hard to reach jobs places. Sometimes the handle on the, the screwdriver, like where's a huge one? It's just too big, you can't get in there. Okay, so look it. I don't have to tell you guys because the guys know what's up. In fact, they're probably laughing at my tool bag, but you know what? I'm satisfied just like. <laughs> Zipping and unzipping it, okay. This is um, uh, just a little shears, I guess, what if they call it? Um, you know, small branches get in your way when you're camping and you're like, I really want to hang my clothesline there, but these, you know, just snip them away. This is not for your firewood. Well, this could be for tinder. You just snip, snip, snip your first few levels of tinder. I'm exhausted already. I just, um, just was made to sing, that's it. This uh, has come in handy every now and then. It's a, a wrench, um, so you know how to use it. Um, and it really does come in handy when you gotta, you know, do that. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Okay, these are, these, are <laughs> these are zip ties. Look, I know you know what these are, but I'm laughing because the other day, okay, so it's a zip tie. And if you don't have handcuffs on handy, and I don't think many people do, you use a zip tie and it like, oh, it, it secures things. If you got something that's blowing in the wind, <laughs> the answer, my friend, is zip tie. Okay, but the reason why I'm laughing, and I'll try to put this picture up too, is the other day. Oh my God, it's so zip tie. It was like four feet long. It's like you could tie an elephant. <laughs> it was huge. Like they were like four feet long. <laughs> okay. I just wanted nature to be in the show too. And those are hawks and they won't shut them up. Like they yap. All, like that. They have nests everywhere. They're king of the heights. Um, Brooklyn Heights, Washington Heights, Morningside Heights. Not those heights. 
right now. Um, different heights, uh, of course, not of course not as high as eagles, but anyway, I'll tell you about them another time. But um, okay, so this is extra from when I was. Um, but these come in handy. Okay, if you're out there camping and you want to hang up a hammock. Okay, so I don't know how many people, unless you have a huge rig, bring like, you know, like a drill with drill bits and stuff like that. Like, you really don't need that. I wouldn't need that. But if you happen to have one, and you have like a small little, you can make a little pilot hole and then screw this into a tree, which is going to really, you know, hold firm this hook, right? You got a whole bunch of bags you need to hang, like chain, like bags, like weight, just hook it on, hook it on, hook it on. But this thing has to go into a tree, you know, because it's hardwood. And um, anyway, so this was part of a hammock piece, um, you know, for hooking the hammock, as you know. And um, I saved it. That's it. That's all I wanted to say. I have to work on being more concise. Quick short okay this is the best glue sorry i don't know if you know this about me why would you but i'm a gluer if anything breaks i make a list and then at the end of the month <laughs> there's glue day where i just glue shit and it's called um loctite super glue liquid i'm sure it's toxic so it's got to be good um and uh it bonds in seconds. I've never um, bonded my fingers together with this, although I have with that other Gorilla Glue, st glue stuff, and it's pretty scary. Um, but anyway, uh, keep this well maintained because if you're one of those, like I'm not trying to be sexist or anything, women or men that have bags of stuff, but this is a tool bag, do many women have a tool bag? I don't know. But if you're one of those that has a bag and everything is just like thrown in it, mishmash like, you know, like Ross for less sales, basement sale, whatever, then um, this is going to dump out, leak everywhere. Everything's going to be pancaked together. Take care of this. Store it upright and store it in that little pot. Don't look what's in the bag. There's little pockets inside, tight little pockets. Store it in there. And don't let anyone go in your bag and mess around and move your stuff. Okay. You never know. You never know. Just saying. You never know. A lock and a key does come in handy. You know, you're camping, you're boondocking, out with a friend, he's got a bike, you've got a bike, a motorcycle, or whatever, or dirt bikes. Uh, or other, a lawnmower, I don't know why. Um, some people, you know, they bring flatbeds of their toys with them. And, ah, oh, shit, I gotta lock this up. Um, and they don't have, and, you know, you, you have. And you can also grab your bell. You actually, there, look what I just discovered. And so when you want to call your friends, hey, it's, it's chow time. Okay, like you've made salami sandwiches or whatever. Okay, so there, Ugh, that. Um, what else? There's another one of these, or this is the one that I had. Okay, zip to ah, flashlight. Mm, yeah, I don't have to explain this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Okay. Uh, well, I, I don't really understand why I have this. I mean, it was just because I didn't know where to put it, but I, I don't think you're good. You might need this for camping. You might need it for boondocking. Honestly, I don't care how big the parking space is. I don't need to measure it. If I don't fit, then I'll just like go somewhere else. But I will try to jam my vehicle in there before I measure to see how big the parking lot is or the space. Okay. Um, my hands are dirty now, but bleh. What else is in the bag? Scissors. They're good to have, you know, because you got to cut this twine. This is a, a excuse me, this is a, a different, a different grade twine than this. You can see this is way thicker. I mean, but look at those fibers. Isn't that beautiful? 
God, they interrupt so much. Um, smells good. Uh, they must be hunting. They must have found a meal and they're calling their friends. Um, yeah, so different grades and so much strength. They really are very strong. This is a good clothesline, by the way. And it shows up so you don't wring your neck like in the last episode we were talking about. Don't get the camo. Again, clothesline. I have an awful lot of screwdrivers in here. Um, so I won't bore you with the different sizes, although this is like, excuse me, that's a mini. That's a good size. Um, I have a rock that I collected. Um, I don't know what you would use that for, but uh, here's an even smaller one. Gosh, guys. And I can fit it in my hand. It's not going to give me carpal tunnel to use it. Electrical tape. Yes. Do you know why? Ugh. Because when, because when you're out there camping, wamping, and it rains, as it does, you need to wrap up your wires. You know, just the uh, the connections where your plug goes in to your um, strip, your patch, you know, that you have all your cords plugged into, you want to be able to like go around a few times so the elements, you know, don't interrupt your service. What I do is I take a plastic bag. This I just happen to have lying around because I do have to remember to put this back in the, in the one camping um, box that is for... Um, food. This is a uh, cubes, a uh, bullion cube for soup. And, um, yeah, last episode, I was like overjoyed that I had found this, but anyway, let me get this. So yeah, I don't know. You got your strip here, you know, you're when it's raining, right? Like that's no good. These, so you wrap the whole thing up in plastic bag and then do it with electrical tape. I feel like there's upstaging me. Um, is this a, oh, this is something that I don't like. It is kind of handy though. It's a box cutter. Um, yeah. It, it's a 747. Yeah, we're going to have to take a break.